What's going on guys, Christopher Lopez here with Jersey Beast TV and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about how you can still bench press if you're over 30, 35, 40, um, even if you have cranky shoulders, even if you have shoulders that kind of ache like I do. Um, typically when we get up there in lifting years, instead of dog years, lifting years, when the cutoff is usually like 30 to 35, you start to realize your body doesn't recover as fast as you used to, especially on an exercise like the bench press. The shoulders on guys are the, usually the first to go, usually the first to hurt, shoulders and knees. Um, but if you do what we're gonna cover today in this video, it may alleviate that. You're still get a massive pump, still gain some decent muscle size and uh, get stronger as well. So first things first, the problem with the bench press, I don't wanna say the problem, but the issue with the bench press for older lifters is that whenever you're holding a bar, right, your hands are fixed, they're in a fixed position. That's why people say dumbbells are a little bit better for older guys, because you can change your grip, you know, you can you know, go on a little bit of an angle, maybe do a neutral grip and press that way. It's a little bit easier on the shoulders. You don't have that luxury when you are training with the bar, because you are fixed, okay? Depending on where your hand position is, a lot of guys, this is an issue, but depending on where your hand position is, even if it's in a proper position, your wrists are fixed, okay? That's a major issue for a lot of guys. You compound this problem by looking at the bench press and trying to go heavy as fuck every time you do the exercise, which is another, that's a topic for another day. It's another issue that guys struggle with. Um, so if you are in the habit of benching and doing five sets of five or five sets of three, a lot of guys are notorious for trying to max out every fucking workout on the bench press, which is another issue. Um, you know, when, when you do those things, those stupid things, and you compound that with cranky shoulders, you're not listening to your body, um, you're just gonna make the issue worse. And as you get older, you guys know that it doesn't get better, okay? So unless you start to take active measures and active steps, a lot of that's mobility work, which we can cover in a different video. I've been doing yoga myself the past few weeks, which has loosened up my upper body and my lower body as well work on my flexibility and it has helped a, a shit ton but as far as sticking to the basics here as far as exercise selection and how you can program it into your personal chest day here's what I would recommend grab a set of dumbbells moderate weight nothing too crazy heavy okay and we're gonna do some pre-exhaust sets before you hit your bench so if your first set of exercises is five sets or four sets of 10 to 12 okay with it to fly it's an isolation exercise so you don't want to go super heavy, all right? Isolation exercises, you usually wanna use more volume, so you usually wanna use more reps, okay? So 10 to 12 reps, five sets, and then you hit your bench. And the reason being is if you tax your chest muscles before you hit the bench press, guess what? Light bulb, right? You're gonna be using lighter weight on the bench, which means less stress on the shoulder, right? <laughs> now a lot of guys don't wanna take this approach because if your max bench is 315, uh, there's a chance you're not gonna hit 315 on this, on these working sets, okay? But here's what you do. You grab a set of dumbbells, you do your five sets of flies. Make sure you keep that bend in the elbow. You do your 10 reps, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, and after your fifth set, you take a two minute break, and then you jump to the bench. Now, this is pretty light, but obviously, it's going to be a little lighter than you typically use for your typical working sets, especially if you're using heavier weights and lower volume. And here you can do your five sets of five, or however you want to break it up. But just know that when you do it this way, you got to check your ego at the door because the weight on the bar is going to be a little bit lighter. If this video helps you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out beastbrotherhood.com. It's my new website where you can, you can basically check out some blog posts. I've been posting some blog posts up. But also, put your email in and get some free information. I'll see you guys on the site.